Hello, good morning. This is Rick Pena, and I bring you today's word for September 24, 2015. This message is part of a series entitled Grace Based Success, where we have been learning how to win in life and how to do it, listen, God's way, by His unearned and amazing grace. We've been studying the life of the Apostle Peter. I trust that you've been enjoying this study. Our study of his life brought us to Matthew chapter 14. And for weeks now, we've been studying the event where Peter walked on water. Yesterday, we went back to that event and I wanted to look at the overall event through the lens of God's grace. This morning, I feel led to go back to that event again and really back up even further to look at the whole chapter, back up to the beginning of Matthew chapter 14, look at it through the lens of God's grace. And the title of today's message is The Un forced rhythms of God's grace. Once we learn how to tap into and flow in the unforced rhythms of God's grace, then really we get to live the life that God called us to live. So there we go. Let's get into it. What does this mean to you today? What is this whole thing about the unforced rhythms of God's grace, his, his unearned and inexhaustible grace? Let's get into it. I have four things to share with you. Number one, Matthew 14 opens with Jesus learning of the death of his cousin, right? So he got news that his, his cousin, John the Baptist, was killed. And so instead of responding in a human fashion, Jesus, he only said those things he heard the father say. He only did those things he, he saw the father do. So Jesus responded in whatever way the father wanted to respond. So Jesus was seeking the father and the father led him well, you know, the kingdom of God had just struck, uh, received the blow from the kingdom of darkness. John the Baptist was killed. And now the father was ready to respond and return a blow back to the kingdom of darkness. So the father leads Jesus to go out and to heal everyone who's sick. This is how he responded. Instead of going out and crying and mourning, he, he went out and he healed everyone who was sick around him. And, and, and then after that, he, he fed a crowd. You know, there was a big crowd. After healing everyone that was sick in the crowd, there was like, well, the crowd is hungry. Then he fed the crowd with fishes and loaves. And this was all done supernaturally. And this was not done by human effort. This was not done by human ability. This was not done by G Jesus crying out or falling down on his knees or fasting and having a prayer meeting. No, this was the unforced rhythms of God's grace. This was Jesus simply flowing in whatever the father wanted to do. The father wanted to strike back. The father wanted to heal everybody. Not just one person. He healed everybody. The father wanted to feed the crowd. Praise God. He fed the crowd. And then after all of that was done, he was just flowing in the unforced rhythms of God's grace. This was, this was without human effort or human ability and none of that. This was just flowing. And then when it was done and he sensed that it was over, it was over. And guess what? That's the way God wants us to live today. God wants us to live like Jesus. As Jesus is, the Bible says, so are we in this world. And we're supposed to flow like he flowed in the unforced rhythms of God's grace. The supernatural did not flow through human effort. The supernatural simply flowed when there was a human who tapped into the unforced rhythms of God's grace. And that's still how it happens today. All right, number two, after feeding the crowd, right? So he fed this crowd and after feeding the crowd, he, he sends the, the crowd away. He sends his disciples away. He said, hey, guys, you guys get into this boat. Go out ahead of me. I'm going to spend some time in prayer. Now, I believe this is this is the Bible really doesn't tell us, but I believe this is where Jesus went and really kind of mourned and had some time with the father, you know, thinking about his cousin, his cousin had just died. So so he spent a few hours with the father alone, had some some good one on one time with the father. And then after that, after uh, everything was over, he, he comes and now he's ready to catch up with his team. And so his team is on the water in a boat and he is at the shore without a boat. Now, he doesn't stress. He doesn't worry. He doesn't fret. He doesn't fall on his face. Oh, God, what am I going to do? Oh, Father, what am I going to do? No, he's there. His team is on the water in a boat. He is at the shore without a boat. What does he do? Well, he tapped into the unforced rhythms of God's grace. He felt led to just go catch up with his team. He didn't have a boat. No big deal. The grace was there to walk on water. Jesus walked on water to catch up with his team, not as some circus act or not as some abracadabra trick, simply because he needed to catch up with his team. And the grace was there. The supernatural was there. The, the power of God was available to him 
to walk on water, to do the supernatural, and he flowed in it. He just flowed in something that superseded the laws and the limits of this world simply because the grace was there to do it, and he was a human who was submitted to the divine, and he flowed in the unforced rhythms of God's grace. It was unforced, it was unearned, it was simply the grace of God, and that's how God expects us to live today. Number three, when Peter saw Jesus walking on water, flowing in the supernatural, he, he felt in his heart, he had this yearning to want to join his leader on the water. He finally got to the point where, where he had a desire to not just witness the supernatural, but to participate in the supernatural. All 12 disciples saw it. Only Peter had this desire. Only Peter vocalized it. And Peter says, Lord, if it's you, then tell me to come to you on the water. He, basically, he was asking for permission to do the supernatural. He was asking for permission to tap into this flow, this, this unforced rhythm of God's grace. And, and Jesus said, come, yeah, come on. Hey, the same grace that's enabling me to do it can enable you to do it. The grace of God is available for us to operate in the supernatural. Come on, Peter. Uh, you know, just get Get out of the way and come on. And Peter got out of the boat and he started walking on water. This was unearned. It, it was unmerited. It was undeserved. He did not work for it. He just tapped into it. It was the unforced rhythms of God's grace. As a matter of fact, when he did consider himself and he was like, whoa, look at the wind. Whoa, look at the waves. Look at what I'm doing. Boom. He started to sink. He began to sink when he inserted himself into the equation. No, because what, what happened then? Once he inserted humanity, he cut himself off from the unforced rhythms of God's grace. And that's exactly what happens to us today. So we, you and I, we need to make a resolve, man. Like right now, today, at this moment, that we are going to flow in the unforced rhythms of God's grace. Whatever God tells us to do, we do it. Whatever he tell, wherever he tells us to go, we go. And, and the, we believe that the supernatural grace of God is there. It's available for us. And it's not human effort. It's not human ability. It's unearned. It's unforced. It's undeserved most of the time. We just kind of flow with whatever God wants to do. And when we do that, we get to live an amazing life. Number four and finally, early this morning, I took my wife to the airport, which is why today's word is, is a little late this morning. But um, anyway, I took Isabella to the airport and she uh, and a team from my church are going on a missions trip. To Mexico. They're going to Tijuana, Mexico today. And as I prayed for her and for the team and for the trip, I felt no pressure. Zero, like zero pressure. I, I, I felt no fear in my heart. My soul had zero concern. You know why? Because I know this trip is the will of God. I know it's the will of God. I know the father wants that team to go and be a blessing to the children of Tijuana. Now, my part is simply to release my faith to tap into the grace of God. Now, I'm not going on the trip, right? So I'm, I'm interceding for them, but my wife, Isabella, and the rest of the people that are on the trip, their part is simply to yield, to yield to God, to whatever he wants to say, whatever he wants to do, however he wants to do it. Their part is to yield and flow with the unforced rhythms of God's grace during the trip. And as they do, I know that burdens will be removed. Yokes will be destroyed. Lives will be changed. Souls will be saved. Healing will flow freely all by God's grace. All the team needs to do is to discern what God wants to do, to discern the flow of God. And as they discern the flow of God, they simply ride the wave. If you're a surfer, you don't generate a wave, you ride the wave. And so as believers, we don't generate it, we flow with it. Discern what God wants to do, and then we flow in the unforced rhythms of God's grace. That's how God wants us to live. Unforced, unearned, unmerited, even undeserved. It's grace. And yes, it is amazing. So let's close this out with a declaration of faith so you and I can speak over our lives so we can get to the point where we are flowing in this unforced rhythm of God's grace. You ready? S repeat after me in faith from a believing heart. Say, Father, I thank you for teaching me about your amazing grace and also my requirement to live by faith. The more I study your grace, the more I release the pressure to perform. There was a time in my walk with you when I took on pressure to do what you have called me to do, I attempted to fulfill my divine assignment with human strength. And it led to pressure, stress, frustration, 
and even worry. But those days are over. The revelation of your grace has changed the way I see myself, the way I see you, and the way I see others. I now simply die to self. I yield to you. I get out of the way. I humble myself before you. I still myself to the point where I am able to discern your flow. And when I do, I simply tap in to the unforced rhythms of your grace and I ride the wave. None of me, all of you, this is the way I live my life. And the best part is that the life that I now live is the life you birthed me to live. It's an amazing life. I succeed in life. I change the world. I leave a mark in this world that will never be erased, but it's not me doing it. It's not by my effort. It's only by your grace. I flow in the unforced rhythms of your grace, and I do it every day. Not by my strength, but by your power. I declare this by faith. In Jesus' name, amen. This is today's word. Apply it and prosper. Listen to me. If you, if you embrace the grace of God, I, I know it's going to do for you what it's done for me, and that is to release the stress and the pressure to perform. So you can just be the man, the woman that God has called and destined and designed desires for you to be, and you can leave a mark in this world that will never be erased by the amazing grace of God. Flow in the unforced rhythms of God's grace, and your life will be amazing. God bless you.